Am I the only one who wakes up like this? It's kind of funny when people do this on the internet. Like they wake up and it's, whoa, the camera, the production and everything is ready. Anyway, today I thought of a good idea and I want to show it to you. I actually drank Red Bull today, so I'm not gonna have a coffee. Okay. So, here's my idea. I'm not playing League of Legends, I'm closing this. I was actually playing Team Fight Tactics, the game for the pros. I had this idea to film a course, and as soon as I thought about it, anxiety hit me. I want to make a course on HTML and CSS, and I'm gonna document the whole process. So from zero all the way to the finished course, which is gonna come out I'm planning to release it next month, so at the beginning of December. And we're gonna do HTML and CSS, and I'll try to make this as unique as possible. So when I first got started in web development, I remember the struggle. Let's break that. Remember the struggle that I would finish these courses and I would end up with nothing or just these super basic projects. So here is where everything's gonna be different. My project, we're gonna build out super well-designed websites. Three of them, we're gonna do one, two. <laughs> we're gonna do three of them. And the last one is gonna be portfolio. Do your own fancy portfolio. So you're gonna be able to place the other two projects inside. Now this is gonna be great if you're a super beginner. Hey, you have three projects. If you're not a beginner and maybe you're like, Ed, I know everything, I'm a professional CSS. Yeah, that's a thing, I'm a professional CSS. Um, it's okay, there's still gonna be a lot of things here for you. We're gonna look at designing web pages, we're gonna look at media queries, I'm gonna cover so many things. I have planned HTML, we have CSS, animations, we're gonna add a bunch of animations to make everything look fancy, and then we're gonna do mobile responsive, we're gonna do SaaS, we're gonna do deployment, this is gonna be like 50 hour course, oh no. So I've been thinking a lot where I'm gonna host this and of course the first thought in my head was Udemy. Everybody's udemy a lot. But then I thought to myself, I don't want to give money to Udemy. They take a lot of money. So I thought I'm gonna host it myself. And if I host it myself, I can do discounts maybe on Christmas. I can do a few giveaways to give the course away for free when I release it. So I have that freedom to do whatever I want. It's not gonna be $9.99, even though we know if you open up another browser on Udemy, it's $10. You ain't fooling nobody. Okay, so let's get started. So we got the hosting ready. We know I'm gonna do it on my own. Uh, I have a month to do it and let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is probably do an outline to this course. So what is it gonna be inside? That sounds dirty. That's Let's move on. Okay, exciting. It's already dark, so I had to turn on some lights, but at, we are at the end of the day. And I got the general timeline, outline, not timeline. This is not a video editing tutorial, damn it, Ed. Got the general outline. So let me put up a picture somewhere here. So as you can see here, we have HTML, then we cover CSS. Then we cover media queries, CSS animations, Flexbox, then we're gonna create a website. So the first one I thought that it's gonna be some kind of travel agency, all right? It's a legit one. So next up, we're gonna cover CSS Grid, which is super, super important these days. And straight after that, we're gonna jump into making a website with CSS Grid. And I thought it's gonna be a photographer's website because everybody's a photographer these days with their smartphones, damn it. So this is gonna be kind of like a showcase of a personal photographer's website that are not taken with an iPhone camera. Wow, lovely. Can I go to your wedding? No? Okay. Take a picture of the ring. Finally, we're gonna create this portfolio where we're gonna put everything together and we're also gonna add SAS to it so you know how that works. And we're gonna drop all of these projects inside and then we're gonna deploy it for the world to see. So the way I created my outline is I went online, of course, and I searched for on V3 schools, on Udemy courses, on YouTube, everywhere that I could find, uh, just so I add everything so I don't miss out. Now, there's still a few things missing, so this is kind of gonna be added 
throughout these days uh, to complete the list, but just in case I miss something like box model or how to add shadows and CSS or silly little things like that, those are gonna be added um, along the way. Now the next step is gonna be to put my mind to the test and come up with some special designs because I really want to make these look pretty. I don't wanna do any kind of bootstrap uh, looking team or some basic ass looking website. So I'll try to make these as nice looking as possible. So when I snap my finger, a few days are gonna pass and the projects are magically gonna appear. Probably share them anyway on Twitter by the time you see this episode. But hey, here we go. Wow, take a look at that. We traveled in the future. Actually, it's the present. But hey, look at that. A few days passed. I wonder if I can do that to go back to the past. I wanna go back to my first crush and kiss her. Oh no. Okay, so I started to do my designs for the first and second website. I got a good idea of how the first website is gonna look like and the second one is still in progress. So I just have the basic landing page. So let me show you real quick how it's going. Okay, so this is kind of the general idea for the first website. So this is gonna be the traveling one. I tried to custom pick as many images as I could, custom fonts. We have a logo here and everything else. Take a look at that. So it's not fine. I still need to mess around with some colors and everything to make it look as good as I can But as you can see even when we scroll down here, we have everything just custom made We have the text we have lines We have the, these images that are custom cut out like this and then we, we what I thought is gonna be cool Is that maybe we can take these clouds and we can animate them and move them around So maybe take these and just move and make something very cool so this is the second and then finally here we are at the end and I also thought about implementing a contact form so you can actually submit something and you're gonna get an email. So I'm gonna add that as well. All right, so this is the first one and the, here's the second one that's kind of still work in progress. This is gonna be the photographer website. Uh, there's only one landing page going on for now, but again, just custom made images. We ha have fonts, we have little flowers, we have icons. Uh, here it's gonna be a gallery and like two more pages. And here what we're gonna do is do some animations with these flowers again. Uh, again, again, these are custom cut out so we can move them independently and create something very cool. I also want to add a page loader to this so there's like an intro animation going on. But this is kind of what I have so far. Uh, what I'm going to do now is add more pages here and then finish up the portfolio website and I'm gonna check back with you. All right, there we go, that's gonna be it for today. Let me know if you wanna see a part two. I was thinking about making one or two more to kind of film everything, like the whole filming process and the editing process and the publishing, because we eventually are gonna need to make, I need to make my own website. Uh, so that's gonna come up and hosting and everything. So let me know if you want to see a part two and a part three on this But until next time, thank you so much for watching for being here with me uh, Hope you enjoy this and yeah hit the bell do the thing that mm, yes spicy what, what am I doing? I almost forgot the magic trick. This is gonna be making fire with your own hands